This is a tour of A1 Life Organizer. The purpose of this application is both for home and business users to have a tracking system to manage company, product purchases, product data, services, update and support. Let's take for example if you have a product that you purchased and you want that product to be documented and all the information about it including maybe serial numbers and product part number and whatever and then there's additional data as far as uh, information about that technical information and then you want to track the history of all the service on that item including uh, contacts with uh, support and other people and if it's a software item or anything like that and you want to update the support or and or track uh, revisions you can do that and then also you can track contacts within the organizations that provide the services for you. Uh, you can in include also things like putting actual uh, visual receipts or service documents that are copied and then pasted into a field on the application to have something that you can rely on uh, as far as if you need an invoice or some kind of tracking document. It can be readily available within the application. Let's go ahead and take a tour now and look at what this application look like, looks like and how it works. You start on what is called Data Track. And what Data Track does is it has a serious series of companies that you can add, and there can be an infinite number of them, that you either receive products or services from, or you've made purchases or plan to make purchases from. In this case, I put some examples in the sample uh, system. And what you can do is you, for example, on eBay, if you're doing uh, information where you're tracking certain things you want to purchase, you can put those into this system and then compare them for later on as far as which one is the best uh, product to purchase. Uh, let's take a company, for example, like Apple Inc. If we're going to get something from Apple, uh, we have the company information, so you have something for telephone number and, and such. Uh, and you can do more embellishing on that under uh, the contact portal. Uh, but you also put what services they provide. And then down in the bottom there are user-defined fields where you can add a title and or a field name. And there's sets of these where you can add additional fields that maybe there's something that I didn't add that you need to have that's unusual or, or an option that you need in order to describe this, this service or product. Let's take a look at the, uh, since we have the company, let's take a look at the contact portal. A contact portal is a, a portal that has as many records as you want to add. And every time you make a contact with an organization or company, you can add the information about that company uh, or the contact from that company that you made contact with. If you want to get a larger view of this information, you can click this icon and it opens up to a larger screen where you can add the more details than the fields show here so it's easier to view. Uh, if you have a product that you are going to purchase or and or planning to purchase, what you can do is go ahead and add that particular item into these portals and that information will be supported. For example, if you click on this icon, it will actually give you a uh, picture portal screen where you can add a fairly large uh, image of whatever the item is that you're purchasing. And you can see that you have the product name, product type, product purchase uh, information. These are used drop downs so that you don't have to add a lot of data by hand. Uh, and there is a special purchase comments area down here. So if you have sp uh, particular things about this individual company or the product, you can make notes down here. And this is an infinite size uh, text field also. Product data is the details about the product. This is where if you have a serial number, a part number, a warranty, and in this particular case, you can see that you would put down the warranty stop and end periods and warranty notes so that if you bought a warranty, you can track the information as far as the warranty so that it doesn't get away from you. Uh, and you can also add additional information for comments about each individual item. And then again, like we said before, you can open it up to a larger screen and then uh, add uh, a say like a warranty document that you can make a copy of if you wanted the actual narrative to be available to you. The next screen is the service history and in this screen you would want to take and put the product name in, 
the which is from a drop down uh, that you pick from items that you purchased, uh, the date of the service, the service type, who it was serviced by, and what the service cost was, and then notes about the service. This may include things like uh, if you call a software company for information, you might have an incident number, or if you are doing a scheduled uh, visit where they're going to come out, uh, you have the service date, but you might want to put notes in there about uh, where you have to be or what you have to do in order to have that service completed. And then also, what did they do when they did the service? Did they replace something or whatever? And that would go ongoing. So if you ever called them back and on this date, say a certain thing is replaced, but yet it failed three months later, you would have a record of that. The next item is the updates and support. This is things where uh, you need support and it's technical in nature where you have to ask questions and you need to keep record of what the actual support uh, information was that you received. It might be in the form of uh, a change in a, uh, a username, password, or and or uh, say a change in a product where the serial number changed, or and or you received a new update, uh, maybe it'd be a software or hardware update, and you wanted to track all the history of all those changes for this particular product that you were talking about in this area. Uh, so these are the kind of things that are done within the intercompany. You can also do things, for example, uh, if you're viewing these, you can view them as the large portal that I was talking about. And very quickly, if you're on the iPad, you can jump between records by touching the icons over here to jump between companies. And as you go back between each one of these uh, individuals, you can see that there are list views that list all the activities as far as whatever they are within the area. And then there are reports that generate information about each one of these. For example, let's just take a purchase report. These are items that are, were purchased. So if you have a company where you want to track all the costs that are involved, in this case like 11, 111, 789 as far as a, a purchase of a, a, a product, this will give you something you can actually search on based on the, either the company, the product, or the date, or any individual field that's in there. You can uh, track your cost on an annual basis if it were equipment you're purchasing for a business, and then all the related cost and support that was required for that particular product. And then you can jump back into the record. On each one of these screens, you can do something like uh, uh, print the reports and keep records on them and so forth. Well, this is just a tour of the app that is just coming out. Now, this is an interesting app in that I have a price on it at $39.95, and I'm actually offering it at $4.95, or $4.99, pardon me. This uh, is an uh, incentive app for people to see how we write apps and if they would be interesting to you as far as uh, other apps that we provide. Thank you for taking the tour.